Hello, this is W5P. I'm going to make a training video on one of these swaps in uh, dual band radios. Uh, I'm going to show you how to program it without uh, using the computer or the uh, cloning cable. We're going to do this longhand. Well, it wouldn't hurt to come up with some sort of memory plan before you get started. In all, there's about uh, 30 different menus on this radio. Wouldn't be a bad idea to get out the manual and uh, read what each one of them does. Uh, the people overseas are wired a little different than us, so it's a matter of uh, getting the acronyms down. You want to make sure that the save is turned on so that you can make changes. Uh, item 21 is how you switch between channel mode and VFO. You have to be in VFO in order to uh, program. You can also uh, name your channels, but if you do, you need to name all of them. <laughs> and item 16 is your transmit PL tone. Uh, and item 15 is for the receive PL tone. I'll usually keep it set at zero, unless I'm trying to get rid of some inner mod. And then your repeater offsets have a little chart for uh, all the different bands and then item 24 is your uh, repeater offsets uh, your minus and then off for simplex and plus and then there's memory channels item 27 you store the uh, current settings in your uh, uh, VFO into memory and if you mess anything up, then there's the uh, item 28 delete channel. So First, we're going to put in 145.110. We need to set up all of our parameters. First, we'll do the offset. You can key that in using leading zeros now we'll set the PL tone we just use the encoder to put that in Now we'll set the shift to negative. Now we'll store it into memory one. Once you see the channel indicator, that means there's contents in that channel. This radio will not allow you to uh, write over a channel you have to delete it first to make any changes to that channel. And once you have your parameters set, you can just go through and start entering frequencies. Now we're going to store in the Richland Hills repeater and because it's above uh, 147 megahertz we will have to go and change the uh, repeater shift to positive. Now we'll enter our 440 channels, 442.400, and we got to change our offset now to 5 megahertz. Now we're ready to store that channel.
Okay. Now we're ready to put it in channel mode. Okay, now we're going to check our frequencies, our channels. And now our frequencies are stored in just as we have them on the list. Now, if you were to uh, make a mistake on one of the channels, you have to switch back into VFO mode so that you can program it. And then go to the channel you want to correct and delete it. Delete channel. And you notice it went back to six. Make your corrections. And then once you're done with your corrections, then you go back to uh, memory channel and store it back into the empty memory and your corrections made. Now you just put it back into uh, channel mode. And you're done. Thank you for watching my video. This is WE5T73.